Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we have a special thanks to Patreon subscriber Twit Wow for the prospect suggestion of Scott Miller, uh, the wide receiver out of Bowling Green. Um, Scott Miller is someone who has a decent production profile, tested reasonably well at his pro day, and it is important to remember that this, these are pro day numbers, so just we'll throw that disclaimer out there that you know this isn't the combine. The pro day numbers this year in particular are very volatile, uh, mainly because NFL Draft Scout, the website which I've always used to get the most reliable pro day numbers from, is going through a little tizzy right now. Uh, so pro day numbers this year are going to be a little up and down. They're going to be less reliable than they've ever been this year. So just keep that in mind when I go through his data profile. Uh, but uh, if you're new to the channel, new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. And while that's stuff out of the way, let's get to his production profile. So first off, he had a 91.06 passing yards market share production score. Uh, that pretty much hits the five-time All-Pro, three-time All-Pro, three-time Pro Bowl, and 50 and uh, long-term starter threshold. When you look at the averages at the position, he's not exactly above the All-Pro average, but he is above the Pro Bowl average and the starter average. But it is important to remember that this is at Bowling Green and not at, say, Georgia or Alabama or one of those types of places. So his production is very, very good. It, it for a player at his level of competition, it indicates someone who has a chance to become a starter at the NFL level, but not someone that you should go goo goo gaga over and put over a player who produces relatively well at like an SEC program. Essentially, what I'm saying is you shouldn't put Scott Miller over AJ Brown. You, you shouldn't put Scott Miller over a Greg Dortch or you know one of those types of players because they just play tougher competition and were productive in that competition. If that makes any sense. When it comes to athleticism data. Again, as I told you before, pro day numbers this year, pro day athleticism numbers in particular, are very, very volatile this year uh, because there isn't a very reliable source anymore in terms of the internet to get them. Um, but this is what I got uh, so far. Uh, most of the sources I've got were from Twitter. So again, Twitter, <laughs> it's a grain of salt, okay? But I got 14.52 in terms of explosion, 78.12 in terms of speed for his size. So he at least has one 54 or higher athleticism score, but he does have a very, very low explosion score. And I think when you look at that all pro average, the pro bowl average and the starter average, he definitely has some issues there. And there also was really no agility testing. I have yet to find any agility testing for Scott Miller. And because the pro days are so volatile this year, I'm not sure if we will or won't. I mean, we'll just have to see. I'm hoping that by the time the draft guide is finished and everything that I will have a more reliable source. But as of right now, I don't. Uh, but his athleticism is not that bad. In terms of a production comp for, for Dortch, Deron Brown comes to mind. Uh, you know, he's someone who played in the MAC as well, uh, and his production is very in line with that type of player. Deron Brown really hasn't really done much in the NFL up to this level, but it just it goes to show that you do have to take into account strength of schedule to a certain extent with a guy like this, that there is less likelihood for success because of his lower level competition. And in terms of a athleticism comp, there really isn't one because he has an incomplete athleticism profile. Because I don't know his short shuttle or his three cone, I can't really make a comparison that is accurate of what he is as a player or as an athlete. Um, but all we do know about him is that he's fast, but he's not very explosive. That's all we really know, of him at this point, know about him at this point, and that's the bottom line. So overall, good profile. I think there is a chance that he could become a starting NFL wide receiver, uh, you know, a rotational guy or a wide receiver four, any number of those types of things. I think he definitely has a chance because of how productive he was, but he's not necessarily someone that you should take his production data and go, yeah, let's get that guy day two. That, that isn't this type of player. This is someone that you should look at in day three or as a UDFA option who could hit potentially as a starting wide receiver. And of course, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at DraftCoburn at WordPress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Dremetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification bell in case you want to be reminded when another video of mine drops. Become a super fan today by becoming a Patreon subscriber as well. Link is in the description. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.